That's how you joke. That was just a joke. I swear, I promise. Yeah, but you wasn't even trying to give me your name or nothing. Right. Sarah. What's up, though? I'm about to get going. Oh, uh, what you got planned for today? I honestly don't know yet. I'm new to LA. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, I just moved out here. Yeah, but that's what I was just really trying to do. It ain't seem like you was really interested in doing that, honestly. First off, you telling this bro that you knew to LA and all this type of shit. Hey, don't do that. Don't do not. What? Real talk, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. If you in a new city, don't do not tell that bitch you new to the city. You know what I'm saying? You know, tell her you revisiting or something. Listen, she shooting you lies, you shoot some back. What's the French Real talk. To think about. How many times have you been seeing this? How many other people are there besides me in your fucking life? Everybody's making these tweets and Facebook posts about new here, new me. Shut up. <laughs> You're still on meth, Cheryl. Because you guys are non-vegan, meat-eating, cannibal, scaredy cats. What's good, everyone? This your main correspondent, Alan Taylor, and I'm back in the broadcast room yet again. Get the choppers! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and this one, you need to, hey, this first one right here, this first joint, man, you gonna need to run and get to the chopper, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it kinda is what it is out there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, first off, shout out to all my subscribers, Real Talk, hit that like, share, subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Definitely if you're new to the channel, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, hey, it's crazy out here like I always say, so let's dive into it, let's see how crazy it really is. Hey, how you doing? I'm London. I mean, just walk up on you. I just think that you're very beautiful. That's not weird. What you mean that's not weird? Well, I'm sorry. I mean, just walk up on you. What's your name? I'm London. No, I'm, I'm okay. I can't get your name? No, that's weird. I, I understand. I it's all good. Hey, first off, you asked one too many times. One too many times. Real talk. What's this? What's up? Um, are you busy? What do you mean am I busy? Are you busy? I mean, why it matter? Because? Because what? You I just mean, you see me walking like you have a car. I mean, I seen you walking, but you, car too. but you just called me weird though. It, it was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke, but I kept saying like, hey, well, I'm London. What's your? Hey, cut all that crap out right there. The cut all that crap about. out. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. It ain't no joke. Oh, the, you know, it ain't no joke. Hold on. Just saying, we just gonna sit up here and and be sure that we out here uh, 304 in it up, okay? She 304 in it up, clearly, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, allegedly. And what the French toast is there to think about? You know what I'm saying? Listen, look here, man. You know, she trying to talk about what was a joke and all this type of crap. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we know you wasn't joking. We can tell by your demeanor and your attitude that you wasn't playing around. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you want to keep walking. So how about you do this? Real talk. Keep walking. What the French toast is there to think about? What's your name? It was a joke. That's just how I Come on the other side. Okay, okay. You said that's how you joke. That was just a joke. I swear. I promise. Yeah, but you wasn't even trying to give me your name or nothing. Right. Sarah. What's up, though? I'm about to get going. Oh, what you got planned for today? I honestly don't know yet. I'm new to L.A. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I just moved out here. Yeah, but that's what I was just really trying to do. It ain't seem like you was really interested in doing that, honestly. First off, you telling this bro that you knew to LA and all this type of shit. Hey, don't do that. Those do not. What? Real talk, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. 
If you're in a new city, don't do not tell that bitch you new to the city. You know what I'm saying? You know, tell her you revisiting or something. Listen, she's shooting you lies, you shoot some back. What's the French Real talk. To think about. You ain't gotta tell her everything. Because if you out here, yeah, but so like I didn't give you weirdo vibes. I said, hey, how you doing? You're beautiful. To follow someone, it is. I didn't follow you. I didn't follow you. Hold on, hold on, buddy. I didn't follow you though. I said, hey, how you doing? What's your name? And, and I, then I kept walking, and then you continued to walk after me. That's weird. I mean, but if I see on. something I like, I want to chase for it. I want to go for it. You feel me? But it ain't seem like you wanted me, so I'm cool on you. Listen, men, y'all men out there, <laughs> stop chasing these broads. <laughs> What is your damaged muscle head? You stupid? You ignorant or you just plain old deaf? Obviously, some of y'all just plain old deaf out there. Stop. If you go to talk to her, and at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you shoot your shot, she keep on walking, you stop talking. Real talk. Bro, let's just, your brother, we just make it up. You said, bro, we not your brother, though. We just make it up to like some lunch or something. Oh, lunch. There's a nice like cafe. Down I mean, why, like, why, why should I go to lunch with you? Tell me one good reason why. Because I'm actually a really good person, and I, I feel like, speak. and I didn't give you the opportunity. I also didn't come off like how I am. I feel like that was a, a very rude, actually. That was very rude. I, mean, I got COVID. Hold on here. You know what I'm saying? What? Hold on. <laughs> you know something I find amazing. I find amazing when, you know what I'm saying, definitely when you get videos like this. I mean, it, it is what it is, but you know what I'm saying, let's just, let's just take it for reality purposes here. I find it amazing when you get situations like this to where the man was trying to talk to the lady at first, you know what I'm saying, trying to get her name, this, that, whoop the woo. Okay, she kept walking. Okay, fine. We're gonna stop, we're gonna, we're gonna stop pursuing. <laughs> we're gonna stop. So then soon as, Soon as he gets into a car of value, okay, what the French toast is that? Soon as he get into a vehicle of value, then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? You got this change of heart. You know what I'm saying? You, you, uh, she automatically. All of a sudden, she has this epiphany of logic to where she, you know, she knew that, that she was rude. She knew that she was uh being uh, uh out of line. She knew that she was uh uh pretty much being a piece of shit. I mean, I'm just saying here. Okay, what the French toast is there to think about? It's amazing to me that now that you can clearly see, or maybe you, whatever, you know, hey, whatever, <laughs> whatever. You know, but it'd just be amazing to me how uh, how much clarity a lot of women get once they see the the men that they think that in in the first place they wouldn't they weren't trying to talk to, but then no, you know, he hops into something, uh, he hops into a vehicle of prestige, then all of a sudden she has some talk. Four minutes of my time, you can get in if you want. Okay. Keep it going. You said you're not from here. No, no. You just moved. I just want to hear from Houston. Mm. Mm hmm. I heard Houston guys got money. Look at her. You said what? She get off in the car, she all in the damn mirror. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I mean, what, you want to? what are you, what are you looking into? Like, are we hanging out? Like, where is this gonna go? Cause I don't wanna waste my time. What and do I mean? don't wanna waste yours. I What's up, Dosa? Tell me about you. Born and raised LA, um, I love money. I, it's cool making money, but I'd rather spend somebody else's. That's why I was, that's what I was trying to get at earlier. What do you mean? Is, Cause I mean, if we're hanging out, you know, you're taking up my time, I, I charge. For what? Whoa! Okay, what the French toast is there to think about? <laughs> hey, hey, and this is the modern day streetwalker. See, what y'all don't understand is here, right here. Hold on. The modern day streetwalker is not the same uh, drug addicted individual that it used to be 30 years ago. You know what I'm saying? The modern day streetwalker is carrying herself in a much more cleaner way, in a much more uh, prestigious looking way. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey hold on. Ding, ding, ding. Keep in mind, I said prestigious looking. Okay. <laughs> But she's carrying herself in, in this such a way and things like that to where she'll be able to pull the 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 quote unquote high value man. She's able to pull him with the, the lust factor off the top. Now see by being pulled by the lust factor with what with actually what happened here, uh, yeah, she was able to get an opportunity to sit down. So now by her being able to sit down, she can, you know, uh introduce more manipulation, more tactics and things like that that she can uh 
sway the man into you know what I'm saying and this is not the average woman right here now okay this is not the average everyday woman that's you know just a good solid citizen or just a, a good lady okay let's just keep this real this is a woman on a mission on a particular type of mission to get to the politicians so you know what I'm saying yeah she's moving in this certain way so here, here we go here we go let's let her continue now what, time? Yes, th th that's what it is, time. Oh yeah? Was well, you gonna yeah. be dropping that neck? Wow. I don't, I don't probably not, honest. Hold on, hold, what? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you ask her? Are you gonna be dropping that neck? She, uh, probably not. I mean, you know, uh. <laughs> I mean, and what else we doing here, baby? You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, this is not the situation that you uh, actually think you you trying to get yourself into. I mean, so come on. I look like Kane. You only know you. I'm letting you know I ain't that type of. So if that's what you're looking for. You in the wrong place. I promise you. Are you being for real? What you mean am I being for real? For real. I don't know. I feel like you want to. Like you want to spoil me. You want to take. Me I don't out. even. Who the hell? What the hell is she what talking about? What the hell is there to think about? Did she just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. She said, I feel like you want to spoil me. I feel like you want to take me out. What, what are you talking about? We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. Want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Run! Run! Get to the chopper! Hey, man, y'all better run what the and get to the chopper. About. Run and no, get to the chopper. To That's all you're in for is the bag. Yeah. That's all she there for is the bag. So what you willing to do? How bad you want the bag? I mean, I need it so pretty bad. All right then, so what? You help me, I help you. No, it, it don't need to get that far. I promise you wasn't gonna get there. I just want, I was just seeing what she was on for real. So if I ain't talking about money, then you don't, you ain't really then talking about No. Right. You wasting my time. Then you're wasting obviously, mine. Obviously, it seems to me like Ooh. gold digger, if I'm being honest. If that's what Hold on, how am I wasting your time when you stopped and brought your little French toast is there to think brought about. your little frail ass back to my vehicle? <laughs> you came back to my vehicle after I had got in the car to let the, to tap on my window to say roll down the window because you had something to say. So how you am I wasting French your time? To think about. Come on, man, you can't make this shit up. Call a no, no, but how are you a hustler though? You ain't even want to fuck me out there and see, see what type of car I'm in. That's a fact. That's a whole fact. I guess. Then you get in this car, and soon the first thing you said was money. I'm not about to give you no money, I just met you. What's wrong with you, man? You can get the out of my car. You can go to them. Right. Right. Exit the vehicle. Exit the vehicle. That's fine, going Okay. Oh, wow. Can okay. the French toast is there to think what? about? What? What she just say? Oh, oh, that's good. I got a man anyway. What? Stop the. Will you stop? <laughs> Man, some of these women crazy out here. They crazy out here. Oh my goodness, man. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. Man, this is wild. This is wild. That's why that's why as men, especially as men, when you get successful or uh, uh, get any type of uh, uh lead way in life, whether you be on Cause it's levels to it. It is levels to it. You know what I'm saying? The higher level, medium, and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, the low level, who's really dealing with all that? You know what I'm saying? But hey, all I'm saying is though, it's levels to this. You know what I'm saying? And when you get to, as you level up as a man, you know what I'm saying? In today's society, it's, they gonna come at you from all ways, shape, form, and fashions, man. And that's ridiculous, though. That's ridiculous. Okay, what the French toast is there to think about? That's ridiculous. Hold on. Run! Go! Get to the chopper! Y'all need to run and get to the chopper out there. But, hey, though, yeah. We about to dive off into this next one right here. You know what I'm saying? This not, hey, listen here. You know what I'm saying? It's always, it's always off the chain. And like I keep telling y'all people out there, it's always crazy out here. 
It is crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so let's dive off into this one and let's see what quarters, nickels, and dimes we could put in on this time. Imagine a 30-year-old, three-time baby mama, wow. with zero history of maintaining a long-term relationship, having the gall, the audacity, and ovarian fortitude to stand before the opposite sex and tell them on how a real man should conduct themselves. Her whole entire existence is a contradiction of having this type of man. In fact, she's attracted to trash cans. Damn. Which is why she allows lesser men to dumpster dive and leave banana peels inside of her pussy. Come on now. Come on, let's keep it real out here. The very man that you complain about, you attracted to, but you put on the image as if you are qualified to speak about the man that you never could attract. We ain't going. We see through you. Hey. So what the French toast is going to What'd he say? <laughs> What'd he say? He say, we ain't going. We see through you. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can't so beat this. what the French toast is going to think about? <laughs> y'all cannot beat this. This is crazy. Hey, it's getting more and more crazier out here. And you know what I'm saying? With, especially with the... The men waking up, the women steadily trying to pull the same old Dean Bay ass tricks. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's man, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Okay, we about to uh dive back off into this one more again. Let's let's do this and break this shit all down. Hold on. Imagine a 30-year-old, three-time baby mama with zero history of maintaining a long-term relationship. Okay, so she 30. Three-time baby mama. Can't keep a man. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, the, the problem here is it's the, it's the repetitive of the situation at hand. You know, now, hey, I understand everybody allowed to live their life the way that they want to live it, and that's 100% that's cool. But the thing of it is, is when you live your life the way that you want to live it, but you don't take accountability for the way that you live it, then, you know, that's the problem. So what the French toast is that's the problem. About? It's okay to live it the way that you want to live it. But you have to take accountability. Just like the, uh, uh, these individuals is going out shooting up these schools and all that, they have to take accountability for that, regardless of the way that they live it. So what the French toast is there to think about? Accountability is real. Everybody is held accountable on this planet, regardless of whether you like it or not. This is just how life goes. You know what I'm saying? And uh, to be held accountable is, is really, to be honest with you, it, it, it helps you to move forward in life. It helps you to better yourself. So if you don't want to better yourself, then hey, <laughs> stay in delusional lane. Let's keep going. Having the gall, the audacity, and ovarian fortitude to stand before the opposite sex and tell them on how a real man should conduct themselves. Hey, y'all already know out there, they love to be like a, a well, a real man. And what the French toast is there to think about? <laughs> well, a real man with X, Y, Z, P, T, W. <laughs> Uh, 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 WXZZ8. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, man. Hey, I can't tell you how many times out of the chicks that came up to me, well, a real man. Oh, my goodness. Her whole entire existence is a contradiction of having this type of man. In fact, she's attracted to trash cans. Damn, did he just say she attracted to trash cans? <laughs> Oh my goodness, hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey. I've seen some women move like that. I have seen some women move like that. You know what I'm saying? Be attracted to these trash cans, man. It, it be crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, hold on. Hey, what is your damaged muscle head? That's how it be. You stupid? You ignorant or you just plain old deaf? Run! And that's what they should be doing. Get to the chopper. But some reason, these women can't seem to run and get to the chopper when they see trash cans. I don't understand it. 
I don't understand it. When they see trash men, they cannot seem to run away and get to the chopper. You know, hey, hold on. Which is why she allows lesser men to dumpster dive and leave banana peels inside of her pussy. Not banana peels. Come on now. Come on, let's keep it real out here. The very man that you complain about, you attracted to, but you put on the image as if you are qualified to speak about the man that you never could attract. We ain't going. We see through you. Hey, see right through you. And what the French toast is there to think about? It ain't nothing to think about, Kevin. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to think about. Hold want on. Want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Man, what is your damage, muscle head? <laughs> you stupid? You ignorant? Or you just plain old deaf? Hey. Somebody better tell me something out there. Because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, it is crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, we all understand about the delusion of the situation that we're living in in today's society, man, where, you know, you got, you know, average everyday little chicks running around here, you know, talking about, uh, you know, they want men that make, you know, six figures or, or $60 million a, 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 a year and, and all this other type of crazy ass crap. You know, and I mean, like, you know, she working at fucking uh, uh, Walmart. I need a man that make six figures. You need a man that makes six figures working at Walmart when the man that actually picks up the trash every Tuesday and Thursday makes more money than you, dingbat. What the? Somebody better tell me something. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You work at Walmart, you fool. <laughs> You'll be lucky somebody look at you with you, with you working at Walmart with your five kids by, uh, by seven different what baby daddies. Who the hell are you talking to? Lord have mercy. It's sad out here. <laughs> All right. So we about to go here. So you know what I'm saying? This dingbat right here bing, bing. called herself about to sneak out the room. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess the I guess the dude flew her in or whatever, you know. And yeah, hey, just men out there, you new age men, let me tell y'all something. Y'all young bucks out there. <laughs> Stop flying these broads in, man. What type of dumbass shit that is? What's the French toast is that? Where y'all get that from? I don't want to deal with no chick that I can't actually go knock on her mama's door. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you why. Hold on. Bing, bing, bing. This is for security purposes. Let me know what type of woman she really is by the woman that she's been raised by. Y'all out here trying to do all these quickies with these dumbass dingbats and shit. You flying these chicks in, man. You don't know where this chick come from, man. She could have came from a whole family full of psychopaths. And you want to sit around here and fly her out there to you so she could uh, uh, delete you in the middle of the night and steal all your stuff. <laughs> Y'all some idiots out here in the 21st century. You new age men are some idiots sometimes. What are you doing flying a chick out? The hell are you talking about? Finna fly no broad no damn where. <laughs> That's wife status. She get flued somewhere. Yeah, she done, she done been my wife for five years and plus. What the French the hell are you talking about? about? And that's another thing that I'm also going to get on you young men about nowadays. Y'all are not saving anything for your wives. You're not saving any pleasures for your wives. Things like that. Buying these chicks houses and, and, and $10,000 purses and all this other type of crap y'all be doing out there. Man, y'all, that's... Man, you supposed to save that for your wife, man. You're not supposed to bend over backwards for just a chick you got them uh, dealing with. What the French toast is there to think about? But anyway, though, let's go. Where you going? Hold up. <laughs> so she really thought he wasn't going to hear her without him, without him, <laughs> with the high heels on? <laughs> <laughs> Man, somebody. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. What's going on? Huh? I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that my friend invited me out. 
Yeah. You forgot to tell me, huh? And I'm asleep. How do you forget to tell me, huh? Because you were sleeping. I didn't want to wake you up. You didn't want to wake me up, huh? But I flew you out with me. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Don't feel like that. I was just going to go see my friend. That don't make no sense. It's 1230 it's in my, the middle of the, in the night. Girl. I haven't seen him in like years. It's but why didn't you tell me this earlier while we were out eating? Cause she lied. Restaurant. She just came up with it. Like she didn't know if she was. A so when I go to sleep, you get up and you get dolled up. You weren't even looking like this earlier today, and now you ready to go and kick it with your friend. That don't make no sense to me. And I flew you out here. What? Why are you keep saying that? Just because you flew me out here. I'm saying that because I feel some type. Of Why you think he's saying that? The French toast is there to think about. He flew you out there, which was a dumbass mistake on his part. You know what I'm saying? Just being stupid. Oh man, it's just, I don't I don't understand how how so many simps get uh brought up out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause back in the day we had way more pimps than we had simps. What's the French toast is that? I'ma tell you about? this shit right now. That's ten toes motherfucking down. You know what I'm saying? The ism was all over the streets back in the day. Now these women seem to have an ism. And y'all niggas seem to have the nothing, basically. Cause what's the French toast you to think about? <laughs> nothing. No type of game. They just, shh, come on, man. Wait, look at how good you're looking. You're looking yeah, fabulous. Because, like, you were sleeping, and we, okay, we came out of town to have fun. Why? Okay, where, let me see your, let me see the phone then. Why do you want to see my phone? Uh, because? Because you're not even my man to see, to want to see. Oh, oh, no. Oh, hold <laughs> up. Hold up, hold up. You not even this girl's man. You done flew her out. And then all the, man. Hey, hold, hold on. I don't even, hold on. Hold on. What did she just say? She said, you're not even my man, so why is you trying to check me? And what the French toast is there to think about? And you done flew her out there. Man, y'all young men nowadays are putting y'all selves in these trick bags with these dingbats <coughs> and don't understand what it is that you're doing. <coughs> these dingbats don't have the same type of understanding that... Uh, uh, that, that used to be, okay? I'm just going to put it this way. You know what I'm saying? You talk about you flying this chick out here. First of all, I want to know the type of understanding that y'all had got in the first place for you to be flying her out there. You know what I'm saying? If you're flying her out there, talking about getting to know each other and all this type of shit and woo the woo you know what I'm saying? That's not going to work. And then you flying her out there, she didn't tell you nothing about so-called friends that she got in that city and all this what other type of shit. What the is there to think about? That's a bad deal, which at the end of the day, and I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all young cats out there something. And this come from some old school ism. You flying the chick out there does not mean that she don't already know people out there. What the French toast is there to think about? Yeah, of course she going to make you feel like she don't know nobody out here. Oh, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm out here for you, baby. And... You know what I'm saying? We're just going to kick it and chill and do this and that. And I'm telling you right now, at the end of the day, for her to pull this move right here, she already had something else lined up for later on that night. Now, I guarantee you, he done took this thing bad out. He spent all types of money. The fed are real good. They chilling. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, at the end of the day, what's weird to me is the video starts off, popped off. He out, he in the bed. She done got her ass up. You know what I'm saying? Getting dressed and all this shit at 12 o'clock at night. Like, what? You know, obviously they done had a decent day in order for him to want to lay down like that. Let's just keep this 100. So, you know, come on, man. All right, let's keep my phone. But I flew you out here to kick it with me. I didn't fly you out here to go and kick it with your girls. She ain't going to kick it with no girls. Why did you fly out with me then if I'm not... I'm not saying I'm your man. I, I understand that. But I'm just saying it. Don't, it, is it do I really got to explain myself? Oh, my goodness.
for what the French toast is there to think oh about. Oh, my goodness. What are you talking about, dude? Do you have to explain yourself? At the end of the day, at that point right there, this is what you do, okay? You done flew her dumb ass out there. Hopefully you flew her out there with a round trip ticket that where at the end of the day, uh, uh, what you need to do is let her go ahead on about her way, okay? Let her go on about her way. Hey, what the French toast is there to think about? Let her go ahead on about her way. When she gets back to the, the, the condo or room or whatever y'all, you know, wherever you got her, you know, wherever you living at or whatever, you already have this young lady stuff sitting outside. And what the French toast is there to think about? Your plane ticket's ready, baby. It's good for you to go. Okay? Nice to meet you. Here you go. Hey. What is your damage, muscle head? You stupid? You ignorant or you just plain old death? Want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! And that's the part of the problem with a lot of you men out there. You new age men can't handle the damn truth. I'm just being honest with you. Talking about flying chicks out and all this other type of shit. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's just, man, come on. Flying chicks out? With with prior engagements, I could see I oh, I, I could actually see if she actually was up up front and and truthful. Like, listen, look, you know what I'm saying. I got people out there. I'm gonna want to go see this and that and whoop the woo. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then shit. Well, you know what I'm saying. I already know this is you know what I'm saying. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, yeah, then cool, the shit. You know, you hey, let's about. let's just have fun then. Let's just have fun then. But I guarantee you, this is not how she conducted this uh situation with this dude to get her to fly, uh, to, to get him to fly her out there. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just gonna just, go just, the, just let, no, I'm no, no, no. Can, can I do one thing? Just, just let me see your phone then. Let me see. So what, which friend is it? Why didn't you tell me about this at over every dinner? It's my home girl. She, so let me see your phone. I told you I had, I have friends here. Right? Let me, let me see your phone. All right, first off, first off, first off, hold up. <laughs> You're not her man, dude. You don't have no leeway to ask her for a damn phone. I'm sorry. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck if you flew her out. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? None of it. None of it. You ain't got no lead. These and these are these are the th these are the things. These are the L's that you take when you fly women out. That's not actually your woman or something like that. That's not actually your wife. These are the L's that you take. Okay. Hey, take that L like a real man. That ain't your wife, bro. That ain't your wife. That's not, oh, that's not you ain't gonna let me see your phone, huh? No. No, she ain't. Well, why, why not? Because that's, that's my privacy. If like, it's just your friend, let me see your phone. I just okay, wanna see. Okay, so is she picking you up? You but at the end of the day, phone. though. Is she picking you up? Yes. So let me see your phone. I just wanna see confirmation. No. I just wanna see confirmation. I'm, she's gonna drop me off. I'm gonna take it over there. Wow. You think I'm boo boo the fool, don't you? Okay, here we go. Now, to you ladies, this is the deal with this situation right here. You know what I'm saying? Not also, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, I have, you know, okay, if if the dude is uh, basically, you know, uh, dumb enough to fly you out, okay, <laughs> if, he's, if he's gonna fly you out, these are uh, some of the conditions that come in hand, okay? Now, first off, you know what I'm saying? It depends on what y'all talk about or agree to, things like that, you know, that come into play, whatever it is. But when it comes down to this main point, and it's the point that I really want to talk about right here, the point of safety. It's the point of safety for me. Now that she wants to go out with these so-called friends that I don't know that are in my city, I don't know who the hell she talking to, none of that. I don't know these individuals. I don't know if she, how long she's known these individuals. She could be lying to me, telling me she's known these people her whole life, went to college, this and that, woo the woo, but she can only know these people for five minutes. So what the French toast okay, but I'm gonna release her and let her go out with these people that I don't know who these people are. I don't have no phone numbers. I don't know who these folks are. None of that, you know what I'm saying? We, we still in the city, this and that. So, you know what I'm saying? When it come down to it and, uh, you know, uh, something bad happens, while she's out with these so-called friends, uh, friends or whatever, or a friend or however you want to put it. I mean, you know, whatever. So when she's out with these individuals, guess who the police are going to come looking for 
when she come a miss. What the French toast is there to think about? Right. It's going to be you. It's going to be you, gentlemen. It's going to be you. So, uh, you know, you flying these chicks out and things like that. And then you want to sit there and, and act like, you know, safety doesn't matter. And this goes for both the men and women to understand. And women, that's what I'm talking about. That's the reason why a man that flies you out, you know what I'm saying, tries to keep his, his protection mode in place. You know what I'm saying? Protection, provision, profit. You know what I'm saying? These are these are the things. And and provision. The four Ps. Like Crimson Cure talk about all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? For real though. And in, this, and in that particular type of moment right here, protection comes into play. Not only protection for just you as the lady, protection for him as the man. Because if he lets you go out there, if he lets you go out there, and you actually get into a situation to where you come up missing or uh, extremely hurt. What the French toast is there to think about? The police gonna come looking for me because the plane tickets reside back to me. I'm the one that's gonna be responsible for your protection and your provision at that per at that particular point. So uh that's kind of how that goes, ladies. Real talk. When you deal when you know y'all out here with you know being dingbats, talking about uh I want to fly me out. You know, you gotta fly me out. You gotta fly me out. Okay, okay. okay. I'm not saying that, like, I'm just because you, you're thinking, just because you brought me here, you want me to just stick with you? No, I, why, you just been, you've been here less than 24 hours. So you're over here Damn, she ain't even night. been there a whole 24 hours yet, and she already trying to get loose. Hey, what the French toast is that? Them ain't about? no friend girls, brothers. Them ain't no friend girls. She finna go holler at the dude. She really been trying to holler at, but I'm gonna tell you something though too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The dude probably, yeah, he probably got, you know, he probably look like he balling too, but at the end of the day though, he ain't the one that was gonna spend the money to fly the bitch out. Hey, what the French toast is there to think about? That nigga gonna get some free cooch on your time. Real talk. Hold on. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. You need to run and get to the chopper on that hole. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. <laughs> what do you mean we just ate a five-star dinner? It's a, it's a I told y'all, five-star dinner. Why didn't you say let's do something earlier then? You just said we were going to, you told me before I went to sleep, let's just go to sleep. You were convincing me let's go to sleep. That's why you kept feeding me the shots. Hold up, she convincing you to go to sleep. <laughs> Oh, no, that's a big no-no. What the French toast is there to think about? Yeah, she wants you to go to sleep because she want to go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you she not going somewhere with a bunch of women. Okay? Keep trying to tell y'all crazy ass, but, man, it's crazy out here. It's a crazy world we live in. No, it's 1942, yes. You know what? I, you, I, I see what's, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. You know, you can just get your stuff. Go, go, go kick with your friend and don't come back. Yeah, pack your stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, get, get out of here. You think I'm boo-boo the fool. Yep, gone. Yeah, beat it. I see the type of person you are now. Oh, wow. I see what I'm going to do. You think I'm boo-boo the fool? You trying to do that goofy stuff? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Did the bitch not have but one bag? <laughs> And it was a book bag on top of that. What are we doing out here? What the French toast is there to think about? What are we doing? You fly somewhere as a lady and all you carrying is a book bag? As a lady? Oh my good, oh my, hold on. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, man. This yeah, beat it. Think I'm boo the fool, huh? Hey, 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 yo. Yo, hold on, let me put this ambrosia down, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, <laughs> hey, I, hey, y'all need to, un hey, you wanna find out what ambrosia is, y'all need to uh, uh, comment, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, email me, I'll tell you what that ambrosia is, for real though. <laughs> Hey, that ambrosia good, baby. That ambrosia is good. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, out there, fellas, man, y'all need to stop flying these women out, man. This is ridiculous here. You know what I'm saying? This makes no sense. 
You know what I'm saying? This is not your your long term girlfriend. This is not your long term wife. You know what I'm saying? You flying these women out here, man, and and you know you expecting her to kick it with you like that. You know what I'm saying? Just know she already got something lined up for you. You know what I'm saying? Well, lined up for her. You know, hey. So what the French toast is there to think about? You know, and that's just that's just the reality of the situation here. That's just the reality. You know, stop being fools out there as men. You know, stop. Un- Listen, I don't care how much money you got and whatever. You know, uh, stop being fools as men. This is ridiculous here. Y'all need to start as men too. Y'all need to start saving something for your 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 girlfriends that's going to become your fiancés, that's going to become your wives. Y'all need to start saving special things for them. Y'all need to get back to that. Just a chick that you trying to bang or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? That's just banging. Stop doing stop doing uh 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 strong relationships are 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 marriage things with women that are just bang material like seriously stop that shit y'all gotta stop this out here think about this is getting totally ridiculous you ninjas out there y'all get a look a little peanuts a few coins you know what I'm saying y'all chop down a few trees and turn it into dollars and then all of a sudden, you want to go out here and just, you know, splurge money on chicks and shit. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> shout out to all my subscribers out there. Mad love to y'all. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like, share, subscribe button. And also make sure that you ring that bell ding, ding, ding. to be notified whenever I decide I want to post things. Okay? <laughs> you know. And it is what it is, though, my friends. And like I always say about this time, that, my friends, is the bottom line. strong and independent and not have a husband there and have a man's protection be under a man's covering that is your problem my husband signed up to protect me not you he signed up to protect me and the children he is not jumping in front of a bullet he is not putting himself in danger to make sure you are okay so he could possibly lose his life and leave me alone with the kids Men are simultaneously being asked to surpass Superman, right? Like, I need you making more money, I need you taller, I need you more muscular, I need you more charismatic, I need you more interesting, more multifaceted. I want you to be Tupac with a PhD. (laughs) While simultaneously, we're seeing women being allowed or being championed for mediocrity. You're saying that you're you're a good girlfriend, you feel like you're a good girlfriend. What are you doing to be a good girlfriend? And I feel like a lot of women nowadays is always about what a man can do for them, what a man can provide to them. What can you do in return? And vagina is not doing anything a vagina is not i'm i'm sorry to say your vagina is not valuable <laughs>